good evening welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com uh, this is the next video tutorial to retrieve document file from the database uh, to do this task uh, first of all create a connection with the SQL connection uh, SQL connection class now uh, to do uh, create a button or you can say add a button by you from the toolbox and change the text property of the button that is retrieve document okay that's fine now uh, uh, create a connections uh, with the SQL connection class okay uh, this is already open connection so close first of all uh, now yeah <coughs> copy mm, the same uh, three lines from the above mentioned code and paste below now um, write query for uh, getting value uh, from the database that is select a strict from table name where ID equals to because the ID here is a unique so uh, we can get easily by using ID property so name of the table is document where uh, cause where id equals to 1 uh, getting the id uh, with the parameter so here we use command so sql command class cmd equals to new sql command now assign the uh, string that is get query associate with the command so uh, assign the connection with the command uh, to the command that is uh, con now uh, getting value from the uh, data table so we use uh, here data adapter to fill the data table so first of all uh, create a parameter for id property uh, that is integer type oops here uh, we have a single value in the uh, database table so change uh, the int that is in the capital int yeah that's fine now can create an instance uh, create a object of the SQL data adapter class uh, also associate with the command because the command is associated with the connection now um, use a data table uh, which is available in System dot data namespace, yeah, that is fine. DT equals to new data table. DT dot fill. Sorry, a DA dot fill because adapter uh, work interface between the table and. Uh, command so dt is not equals to null then download the file okay that's fine generate a method stub here we use response uh, method to get the byte actually this is uh, used for uh, byte into the uh, actual format of the file so uh, get the value from the data table in the byte format or you can say the uh, array of the bytes so um, here we have a byte class
dt dot raw raws that is zero and the column of the that is data okay now convert into the bytes also use response objects to buffer response dot character set is empty response dot cache dot set cacheability that is http cacheability dot no cache uh, set cacheability it means uh, cache the data uh, the type of the content that is word so uh, dt dot rows of uh, zero but the name of the column is content type okay uh, the get uh, data from the content type uh, that is ms word response dot add header content type that is content uh, disposition comma attachment semicolon file name equals to plus uh, what is the file name that is available in dt dot uh, in the name uh, column rows of zero dot co uh, columns that is name dot to string that's fine response dot binary write bytes response dot flush after reading the data response dot and that's fine uh, so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my whole video tutorials which is related to asp.net thank you thank you very much to see your output uh, in the browser thank you thank you very much